Dear viewers, day by day many changes are happening in the world and one of these big changes has also happened in Afghanistan. Regarding this change, many groups express concerns while some groups are also expressing satisfaction over it. We are talking about the Taliban government in Afghanistan, which came into power almost two years ago. This government has taken some steps as soon as it came, which makes people feel that Afghanistan will progress very quickly in the coming days. In today's video, we are also telling you about a project of the Taliban, which even a country like the United States is worried about, because it does not want Afghanistan to develop so much and get so many resources. At any stage, they can hit America and cause trouble for it. Make sure to watch this video till the end to know about it completely and to understand the details of this project. After the collapse of the Soviet Union in the 1980s, many Central Asian countries emerged on the world map and the number of independent Muslim states increased. The Muslim states in this list include Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Azerbaijan and others. All these countries have discovered significant reserves of natural resources, with oil and gas ranking at the top of the list. You also know that Russia itself is a major exporter of gas and holds significant reserves of gas. Similarly, the countries that gained independence from Russia also possess huge reserves of gas. Among them, the country with the largest reserves is Turkmenistan, which after independence approached India and Pakistan to sell its gas. And in this regard, a pipeline project was planned that would run from Turkmenistan through Afghanistan to Pakistan and then on to India. That is, two major customers of Turkmenistan were Pakistan and India and in this way Afghanistan had to be used as a passage or corridor. At the time this project was introduced, Afghanistan had the Taliban government, which was their first government. We are talking about 1994 when the Taliban had just taken over Afghanistan. During this period, the Taliban and Pakistan joined hands and these companies started discussing the corridor. But since the US was very unhappy with the Afghan Taliban at that time and believed that the Taliban were harboring Osama bin Laden, the discussions ended without any results and the pipeline project fell into disrepair. Even in 2001, America attacked Afghanistan and you know what happened after that. This means that the design of this project is almost 30 years old and it has faced delays and many difficulties have come in the way of the project. In early 2021, the United States began withdrawing its forces from Afghanistan and gradually withdrew its army from all of Afghanistan. During this time, the Taliban made advances taking control of large parts of Afghanistan. And there came a moment when the entire country fell under Taliban's control and the American forces completely withdrew from here. These Taliban were different from the Taliban of the 90s and now they had more world experience. They knew that a strong economy is the first step to survival and because of their weak economy, they first became a pawn for America. Because at that time, nobody was concerned with the economy of Afghanistan. And neither were the interests of any other country were present in Afghanistan. That's why no country supported Afghanistan. This is the reason why the Taliban, after assuming power, started to withdraw such various projects from the record, which could have played a significant role in the development of the country. One of them is this pipeline project for which the Taliban again contacted these companies and started discussions about it. It was a golden opportunity for Turkmenistan to sell its gas. Because a country that had faced obstacles in the path of this project for the past 30 years and now had become a relatively peaceful and stable government. There was no external pressure on them that could prevent the success of this project. The discussions were successful and Afghanistan agreed to use its land as a corridor. The length of this pipeline is 1814 kilometers, starting from the city of Doltabad in Turkmenistan, passing through the center of Afghanistan, and will go to India through Pakistan. By laying the pipeline of this project in Afghanistan, Afghanistan will get an annual income of $400 million, which it will take as corridor tax. In this sense, this project will be very beneficial for the Afghan government. The important point here is that, Turkmenistan had completed its portion of the gas pipeline in the end of 2005. After that, the next phase of the project had stopped. As soon as these discussions were successful, the Afghan government quickly started work on the pipeline. And the project was named TAPI because it involves four countries in the project, 
Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Pakistan and India. So this project is named TAPI after these four countries. Surprisingly, the Taliban government is working very fast on this project. Within just two years, they have completed a significant portion of the pipeline in Afghanistan, which is more than 400 kilometers long. It is estimated that Afghanistan will complete this pipeline within the next one and a half year. On the other hand, the construction of infrastructure in Afghanistan is also going on rapidly, and Afghanistan's roads, bridges, and other such routes are also being developed rapidly. Many experts are surprised to see at how much the country is developing after the war. This is because the Taliban have kept their policies very soft this time and have not become enemies of education in the way they have done before. Looking at all these signs, it can be hoped that the Afghanistan's future will be much better and different. The struggles and conflicts that harmed Afghanistan's economy in the past might find resolution and compensation in this period. Viewers, a very important and strange thing here is that this development of Afghanistan is not being digested by many countries and many European countries are feeling worried for themselves that a strong and economically stable Afghanistan in the world can be dangerous for the whole world. The main reason for this is the same mindset as Islamophobia, that Muslims are deliberately presented as terrorists by these people. And for that reason, they do not want a Muslim country to develop so much that it poses a threat to them and become better economically. Among all these countries that are against the development of Afghanistan, the top of the list is America. And America has always tried to ensure that any country acting against its interests can never become economically stable so that it can control that country in every aspect. America is not just a terrorist country in terms of weapons and war, but it's a terrorist country in every aspect. It continued to create economic terrorism in many countries, including Pakistan so that his bad goals continue to be fulfilled and his rule and monopoly over the whole world is maintained. We do not know how the Western countries' conspiracies will be successful in the coming time and how much Afghanistan will develop. However, one thing that is obvious is that the people of Afghanistan and the government of Afghanistan are currently engaged in improving the condition of their country and they do not seem willing to accept any kind of external pressure on it. If you liked our video, Please subscribe our channel and don't forget to share these videos with your friends. Thank you.